Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And you can say that this is for the next seven days, but you know the timing is fluid. This reading may or may not be for you. Um, if it was for the next seven days from the date that I recorded it, it'd be the 12th through the 19th. But say if you watch this on the 22nd or the 23rd, you got to count out seven days, okay? It could be the next seven days from the date that you watch it. Okay, so what do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Now keep in mind, not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, okay? What do we have for Virgo? Leg. Stepping into a new experience. So you're going to be stepping into a new experience. Then we have Target. A goal-oriented person. This is somebody that is hitting the bullseye, okay? So you are stepping into a new experience in the next seven days. Looks like you hit the jackpot or something like that. This is a obviously somebody that has their eye on something and they're very uh, skilled at whatever they do. They're getting what they want. This is hitting a bullseye. Bullseye. All right, I guess we will take those. There's three of them. I don't know what they are yet. Oh boy. Change in living situation. Take a look at that. Change in living situation. Rejection is God's protection. So I don't know if you've been rejected. Maybe somebody's moving out. Or somebody rejected you in the past and it was protection. There's some sort of protection here. You are about to step into a new experience. There's going to be a change in living situation. We have six months. I don't know what this six months. Maybe you've been dealing with somebody for six months. Maybe that person's moving in with you or they're moving out or something is going to happen in six months from now. Let's get one more. Well, we're gonna use a different deck. What else? What else do we have for Virgo? Ooh. The Hierophant, it says wise one. May have something to do with marriages, funerals, traditions, commitments, um, Higher power, we have a higher power here. This is somebody that needs to believe in themselves, listen to your gut. Um, we have somebody here that has a direct connection to God. Could be dealing with a Taurus. There's some sort of uh, channeling. You know, you may, you may be even be dealing with a channeler or something is happening. I feel like for some of you, it has to do with marriage or commitment, actually. There's a new door that is opening for you. There is a new door. That, ooh, just look down the tower, tower. So tower is, could definitely be a change in a living situation. There could be a massive fight, a massive dismantling of a false sense of security okay packing up leaving perhaps with a tower or there could be even be an internal disruption fighting moving you never saw it coming a major shock a major surprise there, it could also be a new commitment you may have a new commitment here that comes out of nowhere the, sh the tower is a shock it's a complete shock it's a surprise good or bad so you're about to get a major surprise There's a higher power involved here. This does have to do with a commitment, could lead to marriage, or it has to do with a marriage or a commitment. There is going to be a change in a living situation. Either now or within the next six months. May, somebody, you may have gotten out of a commitment. Maybe it was six months ago. So there's some sort of protection here as well. Oh no, we almost forgot. We need one of these. What do we have for Virgo? What do we 
Well, we're not taking all of those. We did get one that flipped over, so that's the one we're gonna take. Abundance, 55. 55, we know what 55 means. Unexpected change, represents change, a need for change. Power struggles, uh, change, conflict, plenty. The 55, this card says abundance, plenty, profusion, generosity, fertility, ripeness, inner riches, reaping rewards, culmination, harvest. This kind of looks like the Empress to me. The Empress is all about abundance, so it does. I feel like this is Empress energy. So you guys are probably in a giving birth to a new life. This is the birth of a new life. There may be some pain, but you're giving birth to a new life. The Empress is, is all about abundance. Very serene energy. I feel like you're in a really, really, really good place. It is definitely a very fertile time. I feel like you're probably glowing. I feel like... Uh, Everybody can see your beauty. They can sense. They can sense your beauty, and I'm talking about your inner beauty. When you, when you when you're beautiful on the inside, the outside just blo it just blossoms, right? It, you just glow. It doesn't even matter. Okay, you're you're beautiful. Okay, and this is a very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. Inner riches. So you are really. You're going through a period of incubation, obviously. There's a blessing that is coming for you. It may have something to do with mother and child. There could even be a pregnancy here. Um, there could be a child that is coming to live with you. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, there's reaping some sort of rewards. You are going to be reaping some sort of rewards for your hard work. There is a higher power involved here. Believe it. Believe. Have faith. There's faith. You're, there's somebody's prayers that are being answered. There could even be a confession. I just saw that. So there could be a confession. I don't know if somebody's going to be confessing feelings. We just had three cards fall out. Six of coins. Seven of coins reversed. And the knight of coins. And I've been using this deck for a long time. And they wouldn't. Anyhow, we got seven of coins. Six of, co or we got six of coins, seven of coins reverse, and the knight of coins. Okay, so seven of coins is about, in the reverse, is something that isn't growing. It's the season is over. We did see harvest up there. It's time to plant those seeds someplace else. Or seeds that you planted some time ago are now coming to fruition. You're about to receive. There's no doubt about it. You are about to receive something that you have been waiting for. Okay, this is about give and take. It's about receiving. So you are definitely going to be receiving something. Um, a generous offer is coming your way, and it's shown in this card as well. Could be from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I mean, we have a lot of Earth here. Whatever, it doesn't have to be. Um, whatever is coming your way, it's going to bring abundance. <laughs> This is definitely abundance. Where you've been, it feels like there's been no growth. There's been, it's been a dead end. Okay, the seven of pentacles reversed. That's lack of, uh, it's been unrealistic, dissatisfying. No matter what you do, it's not growing. It's not happening. Maybe you've been dealing with somebody who hasn't been investing. They haven't been investing because they were thinking about whether it was worth it or not. They were unsure of who they wanted to give to, whether they should give it to you or they should give it to somebody else, whether it's a job or it's a partnership or it's a position. Whoever you're dealing with was unsure of who they wanted to give it to or of who was worthy. I think that your person, whoever your person is, is now going to make an approach. Okay, I feel like they're going to make some sort of approach. They're going to give you an opportunity. Um, this is a solid opportunity. It's something, it's some, whoever is giving you this opportunity has um, really, I feel like they've done some sort of investigation. I feel like your hard work is paying off as well. Some of you may be seeing an increase. Maybe you're seeing an increase in money after, after there's been a decrease. I feel like there's going to be an increase. So your abundance, your money, I feel like you're, you're going to see an uptick, an uptick in your bank account or whatever. You may also be connecting with somebody who's going to contribute. This is going to be, this is somebody who you, who you are on equal uh, playing ground with, where there will be equality. Okay. So I think that you are somebody that is on your level for sure. Okay. This is somebody that is on your level. Um, hmm. 
I think that you're going to be really happy with whatever this offer is that you're getting. You are definitely getting an offer from somebody. This is somebody that is a hard, 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 hard worker. They do not give up, but they think before they make their offer. They don't just give it to somebody who's not going to put in effort, who's not going to work. They're looking for somebody who is on their same level. So that's why there's been a delay. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands right next to that Knight of Pentacles. So this is about defending yourself, standing your ground, maintaining your position. I feel like you have worked really, really hard to obtain security in your life. I feel like you need to uh, really think about uh, whoever you're dealing with because I feel like you're going to be caught off guard, obviously. You're going to be caught off guard. You're going to be caught off guard by an offer from somebody who didn't invest in you for some, for some reason. It's like they didn't invest. Now they're going to invest. And now I don't know if this is an employer or somebody that you've worked with before, same thing, or if it's a partner or if it's a family member. This person is now going to give to you after they did not invest. It's like now they see something in, of value in you. Um, and you're going to be in, you're going to be caught off guard, and you may be a little standoffish because, you know, you may be like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I should even take this offer from you. I'm not sure because you, maybe you you didn't invest in me then. What what you know? Four of coins reversed. Boy, we have a lot of pentacles here. This is uh, letting go. This person was resisting. They were resisting. Somebody was resisting. They were being too frivolous or they were being too stubborn. Now they're going to be opening up. Somebody's going to be opening up. They're going to be they they, they were they were playing it safe. Somebody was playing it safe. They're going to be opening up. They're going to be giving something to you. You are definitely going to be receiving something that you do not expect from somebody that did not take care of business for a bit. They didn't take care of business, but now it's like now they see something and they're going to be making you an offer or they're going to making, be making an approach. Seven of Wands. Opposition. Protecting. Protecting. It's like they may see that you, that you have your guard up. This person knows that they're up against a fighter. They probably know that you're a fighter. They probably know that you are going to, you know shun them. They probably feel like you're going to shun them. They probably know that you're a tough cookie. I feel like you are a tough cookie. I feel like you are going to be propositioned by somebody and you're going to be like, ha, you dare? You dare? Do you really freaking dare? You know, um, four of pentacles reversed is that's, that's, uh, it's time to relax. It's opening up. It's letting go. Somebody may have been protecting themselves. They were protecting themselves. They weren't sure. And I, and I feel like maybe that could be you or the person that you're dealing with. We have protection here. Three of coins. Oh my goodness. So that is working together with somebody. You're going to be working with somebody. Uh, this may be somebody that you already work with. Gaining new skills, gaining a new perspective, learning some new things. Somebody maybe even giving you a job offer. They want to work with you. you may, you're, I feel like you're going to be working with somebody that you, this person's really going to challenge you. You're going to be caught off guard for some reason. They're giving, and this could be a financial offer, you know, a, a proposal, making you a job proposal or something like that. Temperance. Temperance. So temperance is a card of acceptance. It's a card of patience. It's a card of allowance. This is also something that I feel like this is a card of uh, alchemy as well. It's like something that you asked for. It's something even better than you had before. This is a card of purpose. Everything happens for a reason. I feel like this is what you asked for. This is the reason. This is the reason why that other thing did not work out. This is the reason. This is even better. This is the opportunity that you have been waiting for. Temperance. It's time. This is a card of divine timing. 
somebody's patience. If something has ended because it comes after death, I mean, temperance comes after death. I feel like you're going to need to manage your feelings. I feel, and I did say protection, didn't I? There is some sort of protection here. Right next to the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands and Temperance, they're both protection. Um, rejection is God's protection. The Seven of Pentacles reverse. And then we have that card. Reject, this is the reason. This is the reason that didn't work out. You're about to be working with somebody that is going to reciprocate on an equal level. You have, you have, there be, there will be equality. Okay. There, there'll be equal give and take. You weren't getting what you deserved. Anyhow, you are going to be getting an offer from somebody that is abundant and it's going to increase your abundance. I don't know if this is a job offer or if it's a partnership. There could even be a reunion here with the temperance card. Um, like I said, this could be something that you started some time ago, maybe even six months ago. I don't know. And now it's coming to fruition. Now it's time. Temperance is a card of timing for me and patience. So I feel like some of your patience has, could be six or seven months ago because I have these sevens. So six or seven months ago. Um, I feel like you're creating something. You're going to be creating something with somebody. And there's going to be an increase. There's going to be an increase of abundance that comes from this. Interesting. So you're going to be receiving something. There's a change because that temperance comes after death. It's after you accept that something is over and, and healed. Because temperance is a card of healing. You know, you've done some healing work. Now you receive something better. Beginning to realize or realizing that there's another prospect. Five of Cups reverse. This is focusing on the future now. Forgiving. Moving on. Moving on from the past. So some, yeah, you guys are moving on from something. You have another prospect here. You do. This is the reason. This is the reason. It is the reason. So I think that you're going to be caught off guard. I do. With the seven of wands, you're going to be caught off guard by an opportunity that is coming your way that can make your life even better than it was. Much better. Because that's what the temperance is. It's an exchange. It is. There's also intimacy here. I think that you're going to be intimate. And I don't mean in a sexual manner. I think that you're going to be... Um, What's the word for it? It's intimate. Becoming intimate with somebody in an intellectual way, okay? But I think you need to accept and allow and go with the flow and let your guard down. I think that you're going to be guarded. I feel like you're going to have your guard up and be like, do you even, don't even... You maybe have a lot of fear here with that seven of wands. You know, somebody wants to work with you. They want to they wanna give you something. You know, this is somebody that is, that is real. Okay, this is a real opportunity with the Knight of Pentacles. It is something, it's coming from somebody that is a hard worker. Okay, this person is a planner. Okay, they don't just do things without thinking. This is not somebody that flies by the seat of their pants. Okay, this is somebody who has earned their title and has worked. This is not somebody who's lazy and just gives it to anybody okay they think before they make their offer so anyway i think that, but i feel like with that seven of wands you're going to be like uh i don't think so you know you're going to be caught off guard you're not expecting this offer to come and i don't know if it's a job offer or if it's a partnership you know whatever it is it's something that uh can help you in some way right next seven of wands and then the temperance card it can help you um but you, you're going to need to manage your feelings and let your guard down. I feel like you're going to be standoffish. You know, you may be in protection mode. I feel like you are in protection mode. I feel like you are in protection mode. And I feel like it's because you were rejected in the past by that ending that comes before the death card. You need to let your guard down. You need to let your guard down. Let somebody help you. This is somebody that... Uh, can bring balance to your life where it's not one-sided, okay? There's equality here with that Six of Pentacles. There is. Now on the bottom, we have the Two of Swords reversed. This is uh, seeing the truth, okay? I feel like you have some overwhelming fear, some overwhelming worry. 
I feel like there's a lot of anxiety here. You are holding yourself back, okay? You're protecting yourself, maybe even subconsciously protecting yourself, okay? Making excuses as to why you can't work with this person or you can't do this or you can't do that because of fear. This is extreme fear. Whatever it is that ended because of the death card that comes before temperance ended for a reason. It ended for a reason. You are receiving a better opportunity that is actually long term. Okay, this is something that you can have and hold on to for a long time. Okay, um, I don't know if this is coming from a bank. For some of you, it could even be a home or a house or a banker or somebody that works with money. It could be somebody that works with money or has a lot of money. This person may, be, it may have been uh, playing it safe and not opening up to you because they were thinking, you know, whether you were worth it or not. Anyhow, I do believe that you are about to receive an offer. And I feel like it's something that you, you know, the temperance card to me is a card of alchemy. So it may be something that you asked for. Okay. It may be something that you were asked for and you were wondering when it was ever going to come. Maybe you had to go through a period of evolution first before they would give it to you. Maybe you needed to take time alone to... Um, deal with your fears, whatever they are. I don't think you're quite done dealing with them, though. I don't. I don't. I think that you are going through evolution. I feel like you are going through a period of... You have evolved. You have evolved. I feel like you're looking really, really, really good. I feel like you're at a place of peace and harmony within yourself, but you're also very guarded. I think your your biggest, this is fear, and so isn't that seven of wands. It really is. It's like, I feel like you need to let your guard down. I feel like you need to open up. You need to unblock. You need to unblock your, your heart, okay? Um, Definitely could be an offer from a bank or an offer from a banker or an offer from somebody that works with money or has a lot of money that is making you an offer, okay? And this may require relocation, okay, with the change in living situation and the seven of coins reversed. There could definitely be a relocation here. Um, may have to do with a job, I don't know. Um, and I, but I feel like at first you're going to be opposed to it. You are going to, at first, you're going to, at first glance, you're going to be opposed to this offer, you know, but this can, this can give you a better life. This is, this is a, even, this is a good exchange. It can give you a better life. So it's pretty interesting, isn't it? Um... This is seeing the truth. I feel like you're really, there's something that you're going to see. I think that you've been in denial and you've really been protecting yourself. You've been in denial about something, maybe about your own value. Let's get one more. Stepping into a new experience. Let me see if I can get that card off. The moon reversed. So the moon reverse is a reality check. It's a release of fear. It is a release of fear. You need to release that fear. I feel like uh, you're very, very, very fearful. You may even be par paranoid. Maybe you don't have any trust. You know, I feel like you need to... have faith. I feel like you need to have faith. There's darkness here. Come out of the darkness. Um, something is going to be revealed that has been hidden. It is. It is. Something isn't working out. It didn't work out for a reason. There's been some sort of self-deception with the moon card. Maybe you've been deceptive about it. Maybe you've been lying to yourself about it. Maybe you've been self-medicating, you know. And sometimes people self-medicate. That's a form of protection, you know. I feel like you're going to be put in a very tough position. I feel like you're going to be uh, going down a new path. I feel like you are going to be going down a new path. 
Um, you're going to be working with somebody or even people that you don't expect. Um, you need to let go of your fear. This is definitely a positive situation. It is very positive. Four of Wands on the work on the, on, on the bottom. That's happiness. That's commitment. That's content. That's a get together. There's there's a proposal here, or an engagement, or a celebration. Something could even lead to marriage. We saw that with the uh, Hierophant card as well. You are going to be attending a get together with somebody, or you're going to be getting together with somebody. There's a very healing energy here coming out of the darkness. You are going to be coming out of a dark situation. You are with that moon card reversed that is coming out of the darkness. It's, it's coming into the light. Okay, You're receiving something better than what you had. I also feel like there's somebody here that I don't know if there's been some sort of obsession. This is letting go of an obsession or maybe even an addiction. We do have a dead end here. It's time to go. It's time to go in this new direction. You're going to be headed towards something that is very, 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 very secure. But I feel like you're going to be standoffish about it. But this is very healing. It's a healing energy. It is. I feel like you're going to be learning some new skills and whether they're business skills, work skills, or life skills, you're going to be learning some new skills. You're evolving. You're not the same person that you used to be. You're evolving, evolving into something better. I feel like you have. This rejection that you went through has caused your evolution. I see it with the temperance card. I feel like you're absolutely glowing as well. It's kind of like that empress. I feel like you are glowing. You know, it's the dark night of the soul moments that transform us even into something that is even more beautiful than we were before. It's like the phoenix rising from the ashes, okay? You are about to receive something even better that you, than you had, and I don't think you see it coming. Whatever it is, it's a perfect match. It is absolutely a perfect match. And there's equality here. There is real equal give and take. Anyhow, I think this is a great week. <laughs> I do. I feel like you are about to receive a blessing with that abundance card. Expect the unexpected with fives. It's interesting because I just noticed it. Okay, before we get done, we get the five down here. And then the five fives on this one. So we got five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. Major life changes, major life choices. Okay. There's a need for change and life is about to change. Life is about to change. It's positive. It is positive because you're, with that temperance card, it's, this, is, this is beautiful. It is. It really is. Same with the, I'd say that's the Empress card. I think you're coming out of a dark period and you're going to be working with somebody that is going to be teaching you some skills. They're going to be teaching you some skills that increase your abundance. You're going to be working with somebody that you see eye to eye with. Good luck. 